Okay, now just lean forward. Arm straight. cut out to this side your body stays the same all you want to do is sit your bum down a little bit more okay you're not leaning like this so much you're actually just sitting your bum down and pushing both your heels into the water okay not like this but like that okay now your toes which is the hard side which you're doing really good on you got your handle here on your hip okay now what you need to do is can you throw me that bottle again thanks you want, to, you want to use your front hip, your your uh, driving hip, as a pointer, okay? Yeah. So you want to pretend you got a little flashlight on there, okay. okay? So you're standing by the boat, and I want you to go out on your toe side, the hard side. What you need to do is, is turn your hip, or that pointer hip, to where you want to go, okay? okay? Now secondly, you're probably edging like this much right now. You can go all the way over. And it's generally, it's about 80% of the pressure that you want to be putting on that toe side edge is on your right foot toes. So you're using these like gas pedals and you're leaning on them. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, let's try and get some edging in and then you're going to be jumping here in a second. I'll show you.
Ok. beginnings here of doing a, your first jump. Okay. Now, you're cutting out away from the boat on your heels, nice and, like, nice and solid. You got your knees nice and bent, you're cutting out like this. Now, with the, when you're on your heel side edge, you're allowed to keep your arms a little bit bent, okay? Like once you get up and you're riding, you're starting to feel comfortable. You get up, you're behind the boat, once we get going, you're allowed to kind of move your elbows in a little bit, okay? Reason being, if you get into trouble, you hit some waves, you get out of control, you've got a little bit of shocks. If they're completely straight, you're probably going to go in. Make sense? The only time you need them straight is when you're cutting out on your toes. Okay? Make sense? Now, once you cut out on your toes, you stop, and you turn your head, and you're, I'm sending you back towards the wake. This, this, your heel side jump is the first jump I want you to learn, because it's, it's the easiest one to land. So, when you're coming back into the wake, same deal, your knees are bent. Right now, you're kind of coming in like this. You want to have your elbows a little bit bent. They want to be, if, if you're the wake, you want to have your elbows right around here, okay? Not like right in, just comfortable. And both knees bent the same. So when you get to the wake, when you want to jump, you're jumping with your knees, right? Not by pulling. As soon as you pull, it's going to pull you right on your face. So, the more you got your knees bent, the more you can pop. You come in like this, you can only jump this much. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. 